in the dark. Biff had a gamepad. They are great, she said. The games are brilliant. Look at this, she said. I made up a little person a bit like me. I zoom along on a jetpack at this level. I zap snow giants and try to miss flying snowballs. May I have a go, asked Kipper, but Biff did not want to let him. I'm just about to go up to the next level, she said. You can have a go tomorrow. The next day, Biff went to judo club with Chip. Kipper, go and tidy up your bedroom, said Mum. Kipper saw Biff's gamepad on the bed in her room. Biff did say I could have a go, he said, so he sat on the bed and began to play. Kipper was not very good at the game. Splat! He kept getting hit by things. Suddenly the magic key began to glow. Kipper went with a whoosh into an adventure. The magic key took Kipper into a game. He had a jetpack on. Whoosh! Help! said Kipper. How do I control this thing? Zoom! Kipper was heading for the corn cob monsters. Whoa! he yelled. I got past them. Splat! A flying tomato hit him. Oh, yuck! he gasped. That was not good. But Kipper got better at controlling the jetpack. Soon he went up to the next level. He zoomed up and down, missing the robot dragons and popping paint balloons. Pop! Splat! Kipper went up to the next level. Suddenly a warning began to flash. Recharge! The battery was low. Kipper started to slow down. A jelly landed on his head. Plop! It began to go dark. Oh no, said Kipper. If the gamepad runs out of battery, I will be stuck. Just then, Biff came back from judo. My gamepad needs charging, she said. Kipper landed in Biff's room. Bump! He told Biff where he had been. Don't be cross with me, Biff, he said. I'm not cross, said Biff. It's funny. It was not funny at the time, said Kipper. Do you want to play another game, said Biff. No, not just yet, said Kipper. The End <laughs>